Good morning and happy Monday. Um, today we're going to be talking about major nine chords. I'm so excited because this is like one of my favorite chords in R&B soul music. Um, a lot of people know major seven chords. Okay, but we're going to be talking about major nine chords. Okay, and there's a difference as you can see. The top note is, is different, which makes the major nine feel a little bit warmer and makes that major seven chord just feel a little bit more like a top color. Now, hey, listen to the major nine. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much the difference. Um, I really love this chord because, first of all, it's not a bar chord, which is good news for you bar chord haters out there. If you hate bar chords, then here you go. We're gonna do um, F sharp major nine to C sharp major nine, okay? And really quickly, let me show you the shape. So I have my middle finger on the ninth fret of the A string, ring finger on the eighth fret of the D string. I'm sorry, my first finger on the eighth fret of the D string. My ring finger is on the ninth fret of the B string. And my pinky is on the 10th fret of the G string. And I have do that again. Okay, you are not playing the two E sisters, the two E strings, okay? The reason why you're not playing the two E strings is because they're not a part of this chord, number one, and none of your hands are touching the E strings. A lot of people ask me, how do you know which strings to play? Well, the answer to that is either you're, you're playing the strings that you're, you're fretting with your left hand, or if one of the open notes happens to be a part of the chord, then you can also play that string. So there's that. So this is C, I'm sorry, F sharp major nine. And then we're gonna slide down to where your middle finger is now on the fourth fret is the exact same shape and we have C sharp major nine. up so you can see that I have my middle finger on the fourth fret of the A string first finger on the third fret of the D string my ring finger is on the fourth fret of excuse me of the B string who got a little burp and then my ring finger uh, my pinky finger is on the fifth fret of the G string and that is C sharp major nine and I want to point out your your middle finger is touching the root note so this note is C sharp, and then this is the major nine shape, okay? So just to be clear, oh, this is C sharp major nine, and then this is F sharp major nine, okay? So it sounds, obviously it's the same exact shape, but because you're playing it at a different place and it's a whole other chord, it's just so beautiful. This is the one and the four. And when you put them together, you got this. I'm gonna play my little backing track that I just made. Y'all feeling that? Hey. Draw my pick. Hey. Hey. Ready? I'm just gonna strum. So work on that if you don't know that. This is a movable shape, so you can play it all over the neck with the root on the A string. But we're sticking with F sharp major nine and C sharp major nine. Now let's talk about some little pimp juice, a little Sean pepper, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so when you're playing this, this chord, obviously it's not a bar chord. But if you are so brave to attempt, you can flatten your first finger so that you're barring the D and the G strings. And then you have 
you're playing instead of like this, you're playing it like this. And it's the same thing as you can hear. But when I'm when I when I do this, it allows me to the the where my first finger is holding down, it allows me to to um, hammer down with my pinky onto this um, tenth fret. So. I'm going to do that real slow so you can see both hands. Okay, so take your take your pick or your finger, whatever you're using your thumb, and just strum across the strings. Strings, lift your pinky up when you strum. And then hammer down without strumming again. Okay, and then go down to the C sharp and do the same thing. Okay. Okay. So when we put that to the track, let's see how that just adds a little bit of enhancement. Ready? So F sharp major nine. I'm just going to do it regular first. C sharp. Back to F sharp. this pinky this pinky just give me life for real it do y'all like when you do little things like that it just enhances it I, I like to call it colors it just makes it makes it a little bit more beautiful and soulful and pretty and gives you a little bit of a personality as you're playing instead of just doing the same thing all right i certainly hope that's helpful for you guys major nine chords add them to your library of chords um do your little pinky thing enhance them make it your own obviously when you saw me playing you saw me doing other things and i want you guys to experiment and explore take that chord and figure out how many other little tricks can you do you can't mess up when you're in your room by yourself practicing you see ain't nobody in here it's just me and jimmy and he ain't he ain't said much so um practice 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 and i will see you guys tomorrow